Tammy here with Happy Art Creations and hello, hello, hello. Hey, I had just finished my video and you'll see it soon about how I mix up a pouring medium. I've been doing this fun thing that uh, I just want to definitely note Kathleen Miller. Um, she's doing a drizzle, the drizzle, swipe, wreck, and spin art. Uh, some people have been doing pseudo swipes, any of the blooms. It's kind of on that base. It's using the, the house paint as your base and all that kind of stuff. So I did a, a video on how I mix up my stuff. Well, anyhow, this is some of the results. I did this one yesterday, and it's absolutely gorgeous. But let me show you. Remember when I first got my spinner, and I did this pretty? So those are my inspiration colors, okay? And it turned out so, so gorgeous. Look at that. All right, awesome, right? Look at that. It's pretty close. It's got all those colors in the black. It's the only thing different. And I was trying a new black, which I absolutely love for my cell activator. So anyhow, these are small. These are just five by seven, but they sure are pretty. And they just need a coat of acrylic um, varnish or I don't know if I'm going to make a lot of work into resining those. I don't know yet. I've not done it yet. So we'll see. So today I'm going to practice some more. This here's my canvas, five by seven. I've got it taped on, okay? And I've been using actually the same tape up underneath. Um, and I have it, my canvas is protected. So all is good. And these are basically my kind of a practice canvas. I didn't want to start off on some bigger canvases until, and I may go up slowly, but I, I still feel like I need to practice. So that's what I'm doing, okay? My base is all it is, is this right here. It's the only thing really, this, this technique that I use house paint on only because it allows the paint to glide over it, the other paint, very easily and it's thick and it does a great job. So this here's just from Walmart. It's their uh, Color Place White. I use satin, but I've used, I've, I've used the semi-gloss and the gloss. So, hey guys, it's easy. It's, um, I think I paid 15-ish. But to make life easier, I put it in a 32 ounce cup and just put a lid on. We use, we like nukes, so we go to nukes. So basically, let me get that started. Y'all have more gloves close by and napkins, okay? Um, and really, this is all I'm going to do. I don't make it real hard. And y'all, I really try to keep my cup clean. Not always good at it. And usually I'm good at first and then I'm not. So how many are you like me? <laughs> and I always have napkins close by. Because you're going to need them. Okay. So this is my turntable and sometimes I just kind of move it around like that, get it kind of flowing around like that, like that, move it around. And then I take one little spin to kind of get it over the sides. That's simple, right? Don't you think? Okay. Now, do I see any big bubbles? Well, by golly, I do. And where did my little sticks go? Y'all, my sticks run around and they hide on me. Well, anyhow, here's a, here's one of these. It's not the ones I want. Dang, nabbit, where'd they go? All right. Really, everything looks good. My sides are covered, and they're going to get covered even more. Um, I'm not even worried about this stuff that's on the sides here, okay? Not worried at all. Let me see if my little sticks are on this side real quick. Where did you go? They're my favorite ones, y'all. I know, I'm silly. That I have favorite sticks, but I do because they've got a blunt tip. Arg. Okay, they're probably hiding up underneath something right in front of me, but okay, I'll use what I have. Life goes on, I'm not gonna worry about it. All my luck, they're probably underneath my my little tub here, the concrete mixer tub, but it works and it gets everything. Um, good. Well, y'all, I'm still missing the beach. Yeah, we went to the mountains, um, but with COVID, the beach trip was canceled, so I'm still in a beach mode. So, y'all, I'm going to do a beach, beach colors. Okay. I've mixed it up according to my um, recipe that I've um, kind of converted over by Kathleen Miller's. Hers is different. I just used what I had. Okay. Um, and I mixed up my pouring medium, which I will list in the um, description below. And I used five drops of the golden 
uh, Colbert Tur Turquoise. Man, it didn't take much, but this color is glorious. Okay, and it did. Remember I told you it passes the elastic or the Boeing test? Here we go. Ready? Watch it not do it now, but it's gonna. Here we go. Well, it's pretty. There we go. One. Look at the Boeing. It did Boeing, and it's great. It does Boeing. It's just making me look silly. But anyhow, it's the right it's the right consistency. It works. Okay, so I've got the Colbert Tur Turquoise. I've got Naked Fusion Pigment. Uh, this is the Sapphire. Oh my gosh, it is glorious. It's beautiful. Okay, all mixed up with the same pouring medium. Only the paint would be diluted with the uh, polycrylic if needed. Um, the next one. Oh, it's a beautiful Naked Fusion. I think it's green apple and it passes. Okay. It's a great texture. Remember, your paint is thicker than your cell activator. Always. Okay. This here is Arteza's uh, Pearl Turquoise. I just made this up on my last video, the one about how to, showed you how to do it. The next one is Golden's Phalo. Phalo Blue. These are all of my beautiful what to call it, uh, ocean colors, and then this is Naked Fusion Pigments, and it's the Ghost Blue, okay, it'll have a, like a flashy, you might be able to see that in there, I'm not sure, but you, it's there, all right, so, and my cell activator is going to be Golden's Oxide Black, because I wanted something very dark, I wasn't happy with the, um, uh, Mars Black, I just didn't like the undertone of it that it had. So uh, when we get to that, we get to this. Before I get started, I want a tip of the day. I may have a tip of the day sometimes, not every day. Anyhow, how many of y'all do laundry and it comes in a liquid form and it has these right here? It has, these are the lids that you measure by. Y'all don't throw those away. They are perfect. One for resin. They are perfect for mixing. They are flexible. They are movement. And if you do resin, it pulls right on out. And look, it's got lines that you can use because resin is one-to-one -one. exact measurements. They're equal measurements of the resin and the uh, thickener, the hardener, okay? So, guys, these are good to have. Put them aside, wash them, get them, you know. Don't leave the soap in. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I forgot that I'm going to use as my beautiful sand highlight and thought is the 24 karat gold by deco art y'all you know i love that and i already worked on that so we're going to go ahead and start with these colors all right this is the cobalt turquoise and y'all my first step is as kathleen says let's get to drizzling um okay drizzle 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 and you want to make sure you go all the way out to the sides make sure all the sides are covered this small canvas, it doesn't need much. Here is the Naked Fusion Sapphire. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. I love this color. Oh my gosh. It is so gorgeous and intense. Yeah, right? Y'all yeah, bought it. Here's green apple. Y'all, I've just put I'm putting a little bit in. I know there's not a whole lot of green apple, but I think it's gonna in the water. I just think it's going to give a good highlight color and may mix with the others and that's the whole purpose of that one. Okay, bring it out to the sides. I know um, that's part of the drizzle is making sure there, that's all. That has a whole lot less. This here is the Arteza Pearl Turquoise and oh it's so pretty. And y'all I'm in need of the ocean and I don't think we're going to get there this year. Yeah, so there we go. I might even put more of that. That just deserves to be in here, right? Okay, then I'm going to put my last darker color, which is the phalo, just because I think it's a gorgeous color. Um, this is also um, Golden's, and I buy Golden's on coupons because they're so expensive, but they're such a great quality. And this was a free set, and they gave me some phalo blue so I went ahead and said use it okay those are my colors maybe I need something out here mm -hmm. drizzle 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 some more 
And then, last but not least, we're going to use the Naked Fusion um, Ghost Blue. You don't see, you won't see a whole lot of it until after it dries. Oop, look at that blob. Blobs won't matter. A lot of it will be spun out. But it's going to leave some pretty highlight. And I debated whether or not to use the white swipe because there's white underneath it. I'm still debating. Should I use the white swipe or should I use the black? Oh, man. Oh, I didn't have my gold while I'm thinking. Okay, here's my gold. We're going to say that is my sand. Last time my gold kind of faded out, so I don't know whether it'll show up in this one or not. Should I use my white? What do you guys think? I mean, it is an ocean pour. I don't see a whole lot of black, but do I want that depth of color in it? Hmm. I have my white ready. Oh, why not? I've always used black, so let's go ahead and use white. Okay? I know, there's white underneath. Maybe I'll use a little bit of both. Hmm, I don't want gray, although, right? Okay. So, guys, these are, this is what I use for my swipers, those kind of things. And I cut them up, and I've got them in all different sizes. Here's some big ones here and things like that. Um, but for this size canvas, I'm probably going to use something like that. Okay, now I need to wreck it before I do anything else. I almost forgot. God, and where are my doggone thingamajiggers? Now, it really bothers me that I can't find that, but this too shall pass. I don't lose sleep over such things. Okay, I pulled the point off of this one, and I'm going to wreck it. And y'all hear me out. I don't know. I might do a little ocean-y. Oh, that's really, let's start here. And I, let me have my paper towel ready to wipe. Okay. I don't know. I'm just, I'm playing. Y'all want to play? Here, let's do some ocean. I think I'm going to do the black. I think it's going to need it. And wreck it maybe this way. This way, this way, this way. Maybe some of this, like this, to make it ripply, ripply, ripply. Okay. I don't know. I'm guessing. Well, I could do like Jilly, who practices one. But this one's kind of unforgiving. Um, I've got my paper towels over here to wipe. One, my eyes. And two, to wipe my swipe out of the way, let me move my stuff out of the way here. I don't need to thin out anything, I just need to wipe. Okay, so black or white, black or white. Boy, I wish y'all were there to let me know. I just don't know. Where's my white? Right here. Oh, they're both the perfect texture. Y'all, I think I'm going to do the black. Just because I don't think the white with these colors is going to give enough depth or change. So, this is what I put it on. I put a line of it. Let me show you what I do. It's just a simple spreader kind of thing. And I can always add more. It's easy to clean. And I can reuse it. Okay, and I'm wiping my cup so that when I put my black... Um, On, or when I have that, it doesn't um, leave a, um, make it hard to close or gunk it up. Okay? All right, guys. So, this is all I'm doing. Is this right here? See? That's it. And I'm going to try to go all the way down. I don't think I'm going to be able to. And just on top, up. Oh. I'm stopping, so I'm going to go ahead and stop. I'm just going to do half. Oh, look at those colors. Woo! Oh, my gosh. And I'm just wiping it basically clean. 
again. So I think I'm going to do half first. Like that. Ooh, that's very pretty. I see the gold this time. I didn't see the gold last time. I don't like that it's got that dark. So I'm still, like I said, I'm still experimenting, y'all. And I know I can't like, hmm. But we'll see how it goes. The whole technique is to glide lightly, to glide lightly over it. Not press down. And I'm wondering, since I still have some here, if I just go partially with it and see how that goes. Hmm. That's why we experiment. Let me come back to that part. And because we're doing that, I'm going to ripple it. Because we're doing a ocean. Right? Wow. Still just doing that, that's all. Try not to get too much. The trick is light is on top. There we go. That was better. I think I was pushing in too hard. You know what? And this is starting to kind of bend up, so I'm going to switch to the other side. Okay. Um, maybe that's a good thing, but I might have been, one, putting too much on my card, and two, laying down too hard on it. So let's see. The cells sure are coming up pretty. They're kind of small, but I'm okay with that. We'll go ahead and do that one. Real light. Oh, yeah. I think that's it. I got it. I'm going to switch out cards, okay? Same size, just a different one. See? Oops. Very light. Maybe too much on that one. But that's okay. The black is there. But man, oh man, these colors are so pretty. And I'll bring it down low. I never did do that, did I? <laughs> I know. I call them squirrel moments, y'all. Anybody else have squirrel moments? Squirrel moments meaning I get distracted very easily. And some people might account that to being blonde. Really, I like to play blonde jokes and that kind of stuff because I've heard them all my whole life because yes I'm a blonde but um, <laughs> I get distracted easily light touch light touch wow look at the pretty pretty color okay that looks gorgeous y'all what do y'all think? I wish y'all could talk with me. All right. Light touch. Light touch. Might not be putting quite enough because I don't think these are getting enough of the cell action. So let me see if I put a little bit more on and keep it light. Okay, keep 
keep it a light touch, put a little bit more on, and keep, oops, keep it flat. Oh, see, that one I boobled, but I think I can do it again. Hmm, well, let's just light touch it right in here. There we go. I know it's a lot of black, so let's see. <laughs> but the colors, the colors win for sure. Okay, I'm going to get a smaller one this time. As you can see, that's a little guy. I'm going to work on a few places. Maybe right in here. See it? <laughs> well, I don't want to muddy it. I just want to bring it. I still like the black, y'all. That doesn't mean I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit right there. Let's see. Cause a lot of that. Oops. Didn't even touch it that time. A lot of that's gonna be, you know, taken off. So maybe my thought process is, is process should be to start with the black out and go uh, in. Yeah, maybe I'll do that next time. All right. Y'all, I did my wreck in the wrong place. I just realized that. Well, that's okay. I realized that I wreck. See, that's why you do these things. And y'all could have told me. No, I'm kidding, really. Let's see. I just have got to move this just a hair. Oh, but I don't want to mess up that other stuff. Let's see if I can just lift it up a hair. Okay. Let's see what happens with that. All right, back to the wreck. Do, 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 do. I already mixed it up. I'm such a big bat, right? Uh, da, 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 da. And another backwards. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I think he can overdo it. And y'all, I do have a technique where I do, I put little swirls in mine. So, um, all right, y'all ready to spin? I'm ready. Here, let me bring you in and let it look at it real quick. Look at that. Isn't that pretty, though? Okay, so I'm going to bring it back out a little bit. And, and I've learned to have a paper towel ready to stop. Like that. Ready? Spin! Look at it go. There it goes. If it makes you dizzy, look away. I have moments. I'm one of these that I have issues with motion. Oh, yeah, I do. It looks gorgeous. The only spot I'm not happy with is all this right there. So, that's where my little diddling diddling goes to. Let's cut this a little bit better. Now I just cut my skewers to make them more hand, easily handled, okay? And that's all. Oh man, I really don't want to spin a whole lot more. I'm going to try go, oh look at that! Oh, look at it! I'm going to go, where's my little... This is saved gloves by doing it like that with this thing here as my holder.
and it stops me. It's, it's gorgeous. So, see, the more it sits, the better it gets. So I don't want to mess with this anymore. I think I got paint. I do on my face. Oh, gosh, if y'all could see me now. <laughs> All right. This right here, I don't want to mess with too much, but I do want to bring in something. So it kind of has a wave look, so let's bring it up and wave. And bring up some of that color and wave. And how about start here and wave. Right? Look at that. See, it softened that area, and I'm going to do the same thing right in here. Why not, right? Because we know there's color underneath and wave. Be careful when you bring this up. I didn't bring up a whole lot, so let's see. Um, when you bring it up, if you're not careful to pull it straight up like that, then you will have issues with um, drips happening elsewhere on your painting. and You don't want to do that. Ask me how I know. And see how right in here, I'm going to bring this down. Oh, went the wrong way. Where am I? Right here. Let me see if I can go even. Oh, put it again. Okay, that's about as far as I can go. The color's a little muddled because I messed with it. Remember that? So in this area, right in here, I'm actually going to add a little bit of waving in there and bringing it straight up and out. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to be careful not to muddle the back part and bring that in like that. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's so beautiful. All right. And do I want to do something here else in this black? I do. So um, I see the motion. You see the motions? See them? The flow? So I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm going to call this one waves because, or summer waves. Look at that. It made that black gorgeous. Here's a little gunk, but I kind of like, that looks like, almost like, um, butterfly. I think I'm done. I'm going to bring this in for a, a peek. Y'all, this is so easy to get off your mat. Let me bring this back out. So when I show you, we're not too, too close. Oops, too far. There we go. Um, you can hear it kind of peel off the, the tape that's underneath. Watch your crazy fingers. Ask me how I know. <clears throat> Might be time to change out my tape underneath. Okay, bring it like that. Look at this. And here are the waves we just did. See them? And it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, now I'm going to go this way. And I do have this stupid tape right here. So it's time for me to change this out because it's starting to cause issues under. And I don't want it to be issued under. Like it started pulling up. It's time to change out my whole paper, I think. This stuff, it's picking up the dry paint underneath. So I'm going to have to fix that. But otherwise, it's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to say it's one of the prettiest I've done so far. So guys, there's nothing hard about this. It just takes a little bit of time of preparation. But once you have it all together, oh my gosh, I think, you know, the wheel's the limit. <laughs> if you've got the canvases or whatever you're using, I'm just using little practice 5x7s. But they're really pretty, and they're drying very, very nice. Okay, y'all, thank you for visiting with me today and doing today with me. Y'all, if you like it, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. I'm going to move it because I know I'll probably get on it. Thumbs up. Go ahead and share with your friends. Man, it's much appreciated. And subscribe if you haven't already. And guys, if you have, I just want to say thank you so very much. Um, I appreciate everything, the nice comments, everything that you're doing for me. And guys, this is one way to do relaxation. It is a great thing. And today, take time to um, try to spark some happy in somebody's heart today. 
you may be the only one that brings them happy in their heart. So anyhow, I'll see you next time here on Happy Art Creations. Y'all have an awesome, awesome day. Toodaloo. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Goodbye now.